Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to be looking at how to edit the depth of the uh, revolution slider and also change some of the settings here. Um, in my uh, web design it's a much deeper um, revolution slider and I've got a different type of button here. So I'm going to start with just changing the depth of this. So I'm going to go to my revolution slider here and I want the USS slider. So I'm going to edit the settings of the slider. Okay, so I can see here that the grid or the, 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 the height of this um, slider that we've got working here is 350 pixels and I can also check that by opening the developer tools and checking this section here So I'm going to right click and inspect. And yep, there it is, 350 pixels. And it's a 15, it was full width. So all we're going to do here is change this to match the design. And the design is, if I use my selection tool and just do a rough check, it's actually 553 pixels. So I'm just going to change that quickly. 553. And, and save settings here. I'm going to go back to the home page and refresh. And that hasn't worked. Okay, let's check some of the other settings we have here. Maybe some of the other settings are affecting the height okay let's try changing this to unlimited height save refresh the page Okay, let's go to an individual slide and see what's happening in there. Um, okay, so I can see what's happening here. We're actually on the wrong slider. Um, this is the old slider that we were using before. So I'm actually going to delete this slider completely. And there we go, let's delete that. And this is the one I want to be editing. Okay, so here's when I want it, where I want to change the height to 553 pixels. Save. Let's go and refresh this page. And success. Okay, it's perfect. Um, well, it's not perfect, but it's we've updated the height successfully um, as you can see that that's affected our, our layout of our slider so I'm going to start by changing I don't like having these thumbnails here so I'm gonna actually remove those and use um, these little circles that you see in some sliders so I'm gonna to go to the settings the slider settings navigation And I'm going to change from thumb to bullet. And I'm going to save that. and refresh this page here 
and that should be six. Okay, so that's perfect. I've got bullets now, which I much prefer using. It's less ob obtrusive on on the design. Obtrusive, sorry. Um, so just quickly, I'm going to fix this um, the layout of this text here, and I'm also going to show you how to make the text the correct size. So go into Photoshop, select the text and check how big it is. I've got 99 pixels in size over f and let's not worry about 58 because that's the line height. It actually should, the line height should always be more, uh, probably about 10 pixels more than the actual text size. So let's say 109 might be a good um, line height. Okay, so 99 and this one here is 30 over 34, this subheading. Okay, so I'm going to quickly go into the settings or into the slide, shall I say? Edit the slide. And scroll down. I'm going to move this down, this button. I'm going to move this text up and move this there into the middle. So I'm going to select the heading text and I've got here a large white bold. So I just need to edit the style for this. Here I'm using Roboto, uh, Open Sans, but the font that we're using in our site is Roboto, which is also a Google font. Let's change it to 99. Or 100 would be fine, or 98 is fine. Line height should be about 10 pixels more than the size. This is a rough guide. And the weight, I think we're using a stand, a regular font size weight, which is usually 400. And that should be all. Let's save. And I'm going to update the slide. And I'm just going to check and see if that's worked here. So I'm going to refresh the page and see if my slide's been updated. Okay, so that's perfect. I can see that it has. I'm still not quite happy with one little thing here. Um, there's so much spacing between individual letters. If you go back to my design, you'll see it's a little bit tighter than that. And I've got a negative um, um, word spacing. I've got negative 40 uh, in Photoshop, but that translate in pixels, that negative 40 actually translates to about negative 0.5 pixels or negative one pixel. So I'm going to go back here, click on the text. Um, I want to make this centered. Um, as well. And just put it up a bit. Make that zero. Okay, so I'm going to edit the style and Unfortunately, there's no easy way to change this. You'll need to know a little bit of uh, CSS. So go into the advanced editor and change the letter spacing, letter hyphen spacing to negative one pixel and end that with a colon, uh, sorry, semicolon. And I'm going to save this, save. And I'm going to refresh or update the slide, update the home page. And that's a bit better. Um, it's a little bit tighter. So let me just check here and do it and test how much we want to go with this uh, letter spacing. Um, here we've got negative one. So let's make it two and see how that looks. It's actually a bit better. Negative 2.5. Negative 2.5 is probably a bit much, so let's just make it negative 2 for now and I think that will do it. 
There we go. Save. Save. Okay, and now the second, I just want to move it up slightly a little bit more. So let's go negative 100. Okay, and the second, um, or the subheading, we said that it was 30 over 30, 30 pixels in size. Let's go back to Photoshop. 30, yep, and the line height was 34, or the line spacing. Let's edit the style. Um, for this one, probably I need to go the simple editor. Change this to Roboto. Uh, move this up to 30 over 34. The weight's good, 400 is fine. And We don't want a border. So let's save. And let's see how that's looking. If we update this slide. Refresh the page. Okay. And that has worked but uh, we can see it's still a bit, um, it's a bit too big for our, it's actually slightly to the right and we need to centralize that. So anyway, that's how we change the text in the slider.